No, Beard is not running out of content, you numpties. Just hear me out. Although this may seem like a totally pointless and random video, I'm telling you, potatoes may just be one of the best, most efficient efficient crops to grow across all of Don't Starve Together. And in making our sanity foods guides the other week, I discovered their power to heal our minds. However, raw, these apples of the earth are incredible. So allow me to explain. But first, we gotta farm some of the suckers. And every seed you plant has a 2.6% chance at eventually growing into a tater. But considering how many bloody crops are in this game now, that really ain't that great. However, once you do get one or two, you do have your bird friends to help you out. And the heck do I mean by that? Well, remember now that we can feed caged birds a crop of choice in order to have them poop out that crop specific seed, leading to a potential farm area of only that specific crop, ready to be picked, eaten, made into a crock pot dish, or just fed to a bird once again to keep it going. Spam farming crops is really simple in this game. You gotta learn how to do it, especially if you got an old witch on your team. Get to it. Now, let us get down to business, shall we? Raw potatoes here only restore 12.5 hunger while knocking us for three health and five sanity. So what's the big deal, Beard? I thought you said these were actually good. All right, people, calm down. Let me talk. Cause we simply need to roast them on a fire a bit because a single roasted potato restores 20 health, 25 hunger, and zero sanity. A single potato, everyone. I mean, seriously, these could be so potentially efficient for those looking to take a break from dragon fruit all the dang time, and they're just easier to get. And the fact that they're not a crockpot dish and they restore that much is kind of insane. But let's do talk some potato recipes of choice, shall we? Throw together two potatoes, a chunk of garlic, and a filler that isn't meat or twigs, mind you, and you've got yourself some creamy potato puree. These will store 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 33 sanity each, and will also just be some warm, mushy goodness for the gullet now and then. Seriously, this dish may be one of the best dishes out there. But anybody up for some potato slice kebabs? Sure, why not I guess, says the bloody recipe for them is so bloody simple. The stat regens, however, are quite poor in comparison at only 3 health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity? But hey, fancy spiral tubers are always an option, I guess. But now we are really getting fancy with it all as Warley himself has his own specific potato dishes, and the first being puffed potato souffle. With a very similar recipe to its creamy cousin, the puff souffle will require an egg instead and offer 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity a munch. And no, you are not hearing or reading wrong. Creamy potato puree is actually better than a character-specific crock-pot dish, and who would've thunk it? Also, who thunk to put Grim Galette in this game? Because it is exactly what unique dishes should be. Unique. Using a nightmare fuel, onions, and a potato, the pie with the face may only restore the whopping one health, five sanity, and 25 hunger, but by golly, it holds a dark secret under that dark crust. Cause when eaten, Grim Galette instantly swaps your health and sanity levels with one another which is both very neat, however can be very dangerous. In short, low health but high sanity equals high health, with a galette and vice versa. Use strategically, my friends, and pay attention to your stats, because you could easily eat yourself to death in a single click with these things. Be very careful. But there you have it, everyone. Just a fun little quick showcase of a specific craft that truly is something special at its core. Is it gonna shake up the meta or has it even? No, probably not. But hey, at least it gives us something new to try, right? And at the very least, it's just something to always have in the back of your mind because it is very available to everyone. So thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Have fun becoming a potato farmer, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.